head coach Trevor Karazowicz. The Demons win three out of three against the Steel City Warriors this weekend. And on Sunday, they take down the Steel City Warriors five to four. Coach, good win, good set of three wins. Uh, just the second road game for you guys. A good win on the road too. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, obviously, the boys came out uh, heavy-footed on Friday. We won 9-1. Uh, we got away from the game plan on Saturday. They took us to overtime, and uh, I think tonight uh, was actually a little bit better than uh, we did. But, uh, again, we're playing with five, six guys short. Uh, we have guys injured, guys suspended, so it is what it is, you know. Matt Kinsella was in the net tonight. Curse Martin in the net on the previous two games. Now, let's walk through the game tonight. Kinsella, he picks up the win, and Skinner picks up two goals. Van Linesburg with one. How do you think the team did tonight? Uh, I thought we battled all right. I think we played uh, it'd be in segments. I think we played 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. I don't think it was a uh, full 60 minutes. Um, again, guys were gassed. We've played with uh, five, six guys short. Uh, you could see it's just I was glad. I was proud of the guys we battled. We got eight of the nine points. Now what is coming up for you guys this week before Steel City comes back on Friday? Uh, the guys got the night off tomorrow, uh, obviously relax, heal their bumps and bruises, and then uh, we're going to come back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, we're going to go to work. Uh, we got a few things to take care of. Uh, our power play's lacking, uh, our PK's struggling, but uh, all in all, we're still finding a way to get wins, and uh, that's how a championship team does it. Steel City Friday, Danville Saturday, Danbury Sunday, a good slate of home games in November. That is very kind to you guys here at Hare Arena. Now, when you keep rolling at home, that's a good thing as you keep building up and when you go on the road, you're rolling and rolling and you still have that confidence at your side. Uh, yeah, it's good to see, but uh, it's nice to see uh, what it's all about, like, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, the guys are just chirping over there about having some music on, but uh, obviously, you know what I mean? It's nice to see the guys going. It's nice to have, obviously, home and home and home, but... Uh, there's going to be a time that it comes around that uh, there's going to be a obviously road games. Now, Coach, you played for the Williamsport Outlaws back in 2012, 2013, the year that the Dayton Demons got underway. And we headed to Pennsylvania yesterday in Bell Vernon, not close to Williamsport. It's more north and central of the state, closest to the eastern side. But going back to Pennsylvania, where you spent some time as an outlaw, how'd that make you feel on the bus? Uh, it was cool. Nice to go back through Pennsylvania to be back there again. It was... Uh, it was a cool thing to see, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Pennsylvania, everybody treated us well. Uh, Williamsport was a great place. Obviously, it didn't work out there, but uh, it, we all got treated well as players, coaches. It was like a nice big family. It was a small place, but it was cool. But uh, it's nothing like here in Dayton. Uh, we got a good place here. And my first trip with you guys on the road, very cool to see, very cool to uh, be with the Demons. Uh, thanks for the opportunity, by the way. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we'll get you out a couple more trips here, and uh, we'll, I'll try and get you to every city at least once. Thank you, Coach. He's Coach Trevor Karazowicz. Demons win 5-4 in regulation against Steel City. This is Dayton Demons Television. Here with Dustin Skinner to my left and Robert Van Weinsberg to my right. The Demons win tonight by a score of 5-4. to four. Gentlemen, good game tonight. You two of the stars of the game for the Demons. How's it feel to pick up a star uh, for a game? Uh, it feels great. Uh, I just work, work hard for it, and uh, who knows it'll come. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, every, everyone kind of works hard, so it's kind of tough to just take a star, but I don't know. Fuck. Everybody, uh, yeah, take the star, eh? Um, I don't know. We got the three points, so it was good. Guys took nine points, actually eight points out of nine against Steel City, an overtime win at Steel City last night. Uh, How did you guys enjoy Pennsylvania? I'll start with you, Dustin. How about Pennsylvania? <laughs> Pennsylvania was wild. Uh, I don't know. I can't really say like I haven't experienced it because uh, I've experienced quite a few things in this league. So uh, I don't know. It's it is what it is, and. Uh, just like every other team, when we're there, we got to suck it up and just play and, you know, play our best and hopefully come out with points. How about your experience with Bell Vernon? Um, it, it's interesting. It's a new team just trying to get off their feet, so they're, uh, um, they're working on some stuff. But, I mean, um, when, we, when we got there, um, we, I think, uh, honestly, we took them a little too lightly, and that's why we, we struggled and we went to overtime with them. So um, uh, we, we know for next time that uh, if, we go, if we go there, we got to be prepared. So, um, yeah. 
You had the overtime winner last night. Dustin Skinner, you had a shorthander tonight. And Robert, you also had a shorthander tonight. When you can score on a power play unit uh, like Steel City, how does that make you feel when you can score uh, shorthanded? Uh, well, that's not really your focus when you're doing that. But uh, if you can if you can put enough pressure where they can uh, fumble with it, I mean, take take the opportunity, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, he nailed it right there. I mean, you can't really say much after that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Three wins against Steel City. They're back on Friday, and long, long weekend for you guys. Tomorrow's an off day. What do you do to recover on off days? Um, just relax, make sure you eat right, get lots of fluids. Yeah, the big thing is just rest. I mean, just kind of rest your body. We're pretty banged up, three and three, so basically just take our time and uh, use it wisely, I guess. Steel City in Friday, Danville Saturday, Danbury Sunday, a big slide of home games uh, coming up. And how are you guys going to prepare for that this week? Uh, I mean, we'll just take one game at a time. I mean, obviously, we got to come out and be ready for Steel City. So, I, I mean, we'll just take it one game at a time. We know what we have to do to beat every team. So, um, you know, take it period by period, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, he's right. It's important not to look into the future. And uh, the next game is the most important one. So uh, if, if it's Danville the next game, that's what we're focused on. Um, so, Robert Van Weinsberg to my right, Dustin Skinner to my left, the stars of the game for the Demons, and a 5-4 to four victory over Steel City. You're watching Dayton Demons Television.